right, with your mats, you can you can take and put them here on the front. You can put them in all four of the places. And you will see that it leaves a little bit of a gap around. You'll put them in the areas where the where you've made your scores. And we're going to work on one page at a time. This photo I want to cut in half. I still need to take some off of the side here because it's going to need to be five, five and a half inches wide. So I'm going to cut this side here off at, no, 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 this side. At five and a half. All right, now, this is four inches. So I need to look to see where my daughter is at two inches. Okay, at two inches, you can see I'm going to cut her head off, and I really don't want to do that. This one, I'm still, I'm going to cut this one at two and a half, so I will have some of her head. I'll put her down here, and then I'll put this up up here, and I can move this down so that it's fairly close, and then I can write, I can do some journaling up here that the door was locked and there wasn't anybody in there and she was rattling the door wanted to go in and have her fortune told if you have photos like this that you cut apart you do not want to move them close up to the fold line up to your score line because when you work this then that's going to end up bending these edges they might look a little funny but people are smart enough to know that that these two these two photos go together okay I've put my photo on this mat made this mat for it now I'm going to put it in here these sticky letters and they they look kind of like cactus I guess ah, they look like cactus to me I've got a thing here I'm not quite sure where I got it from but it has a like a laminated side. You can see how it's shiny. If you don't have one of those silicon things or or whatever, wax paper will work. But you want to you want to keep these letters, these flimsy letters from sticking to paper. All right. What I'm going to what I'm going to write with these letters across the top is let me in. All right. Now with the ruler, I don't care where you start on the ruler. But you need to have some kind of a guideline on your ruler where you can lay these, where you can put these letters on where they're all going to be in the same, along the same line. And just gently touch it, just gently touch it down. You're not going to mash it on there and really rub it on and make it stick. And then your next letter will go right next to it. and you just set them up on your ruler the way that you want them to be on the paper now you're gonna I'm gonna have to show this to you upside down to you but with your ruler and with these letters stuck on the ruler you're going to bring it over and using the ruler you're going to you're gonna see how how close they are are they going to fit are they centered is there enough space? Does it look good? And if it, when it looks good, then press down at the top. And now you're going to roll the ruler this way. You're going to pull it back and lift at the same time to get those letters to release from the from the ruler. Whoops! Oopsie! Oopsie! As long as you don't burnish them down, you can you can pick them up and move them around and get out any air bubbles or whatever and it's okay but once you burnish them down they're there for good now I'm gonna rub these on get them get them adhered well and then I need to get the exclamation point and I'm gonna put that at an angle okay now I am going to try and line up the pieces this side of the building and the signs and the door. I'm going to try and get everything lined up up ahead, up above here. 
Okay. And so there, there she is. Just if you're going to do something like that with this photo, make sure that your whole person fits in one area. You don't cut off their head. If you cut off their feet, that's okay. Um, unless they're so proud of the shoes that they've got on and they'll hate you forever for cutting them off. Okay, when you go to the next one, you're going to... Remember, you got to put these. You got to put these two feet back. This is still. This is still three by six. So these are all going to fit in there, and then you have some here on the sides. I have a bunch of photos of the of the antique antique furniture, and I want to I want to add these in. So now I'm going to have to decide where I want to put them and what I want to do with them. This is an area where you're going to come into trouble when you're planning on where to put your pictures. In this page of the one I did, I've got dance over here. This page really doesn't have anything to do with dancing, but when you open this up, then it does have. And I didn't realize that until I made this page. When we go on to the third page of this, these two are going to stay exposed. But when you when you go on to the third page, these are going to be there. Here is where I decided that I'm going to put this picture of of you, Rissa. I'm going to cut this there. I changed this one up just a little bit. There you are with the, the slot machine. Alright, now we need to go to the last page, which is this one. Alright, with this photo, I'm going to chop it apart. And it's going to be alright to chop this one up. Okay, I cut that one up and made these made this little photo of the thing. Of the thing. Everything's a thing. And I'm going to cut a square that's two and three quarters by two and three quarters. It'll go up here in the corner. And then I'll do the same with this other one. Now as you go along and after you get your photos on and your photo mats on, you're going to find out that this is getting pretty thick. So now what's left is to do something with these with these little sides that are three inch three inch squares. Just do some kind of some kind of embellishing. I need to I need to do some embellishing up in here. Here's the Wild West show. Guys with their guns and playing around. So that's how you do this. It's easy. Easy, easy. Looks hard. But I promise you it's not. I suppose I could. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, how did I do that? <laughs>